Hey guys, in this lesson we will understand the applications of quadratic equations that involve revenue problems. Let's read the question first. The sticker warehouse sell rolls of stickers for $4 each. The average customer buys 6 rolls of stickers. The owner finds that for every 25 cents decrease in price, the average person buys an additional roll. Part A is total sales revenue is the product of the number units sold and the price. Make an algebraic model to represent the sticker warehouse's total revenue per customer. They have already given us the meaning of the total sales revenue. Total sales revenue is the product of the number units sold and the price. So if we have to find out the algebraic model or algebraic equation to represent the total sales revenue per customer we would find out the number of units sold and in the question we are given the number of units sold is six rolls of stickers and the price of one unit that's given to us as four dollars we know revenue is equal to number of units sold multiplied by the price number of units sold is six times four which is nothing but twenty four dollars is the revenue now this is the revenue that we get when we are given the price per item and the number of items. But the next part of the question says that the owner finds that for every 25 cents decrease in price, the average customer buys an additional roll. So how do we use this and create a new equation? Because when the owner decides to decrease the price by every 25 cents, that means the owner does not know yet how many price reductions he should make. So let's assume the number of price reductions and in generally price adjustments we can say. However, in this case the price is being decreased so it's reduction. So the number of price reductions made by the owner is X number. With every 25 cents price reduction, the customer buys an additional roll means one additional roll. So in that case, if we represent revenue as R and the equation would be when we include the number of price reductions, six is the number of units sold. Since the number of units sold would increase by one, that means we would not have six there anymore. We would have six plus one times X because X is the number of times the price reduction is made. However, when it comes to money, the price, they say that the price is decreased by 25 cents. So if the number of price reductions made is X, price is going to be four minus 0 0.25 times X. This is what the algebraic model for revenue would look like that takes into account both the first and the second statement given in the question. Once we get the equation, we are done part A of the question because the part A wanted us to make an algebraic model and that we have got here. Let's go over part B of this problem. Part B says, with how many price reductions will the revenue per customer be $30? Now we know the revenue equation is 6 plus 1x times 4 minus 0.25x. How many price reductions means we considered X as the number of price reductions the owner is going to make. The question is asking us to find out how many price reductions will be made when the revenue is given to us as $30. Then all we have to do is just substitute revenue as $30 and solve for X. Since we see X is at two different spots, so we know the other side should be equal to zero, which is not the case in this question. What we would do is we would move this on this side so that this side becomes a zero. When this 30 goes on the other side, it becomes a separate term. In order to include this 30 with this, we would have to expand this part of the equation. Six times four is 24. Six times 0.25x with a minus sign gives us minus 1.5x. Then one x times four gives us plus four x and 1x times negative 0.25x gives us negative 0.25x squared minus 30. Now we would have to collect all the like terms so this gives us a negative 0.25x squared. This would give us plus 2.5x and when we collect 24 minus 30 we get a negative 6. This whole thing is equal to a 0. Now we notice this equation 
is a standard form of quadratic equation where we have x at two different places. Now, since the equation is equal to zero, you know we can apply quadratic formula in order to solve for x. Quadratic formula is negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole thing divided by 2a. a is negative 0.25, b is 2.5, and c is negative 6. We would use these values to substitute in the quadratic formula in order to solve for x. So we get x equal to negative b is negative 2.5 plus minus 2.5 square minus 4a is negative 0.25, c is negative 6, the whole thing divided by 2a is 2 times 0.25 with the negative sign and this would give us negative 2.5 plus minus square root of square root of 0.25 the whole thing divided by negative 0.5 with this we would get two x values one is negative 2.5 plus 0.5 divided by negative 0.5 one with the plus sign and x2 is negative 2.5 minus 0.5 divided by negative 0.5 when we solve this and put it in the calculator we get x1 as 4 and when we solve this and put it in the calculator we get x2 as 6 therefore we got two answers or two types of price reductions that the owner can make one is four price reductions and one is six times the price reduction that can give us the revenue of thirty dollars hence for this question we would write down x is equal to four or six because both the answers are possible let's go over the next part of the question the next part of the question says what is the maximum predicted sales revenue per customer whenever the question wants us to find out the maximum value if you're given the equation in standard form then the best way is to turn it to vertex form in order to get the max value However, if we are given the equation in factored form, then we can use the factors to find out the vertex of the given equation. And you know, vertex contains hk coordinates where h represents the x coordinate and k represents the y coordinate. So the maxima value would come from the k value. Let's go back and check in what form the equation is given to us in this question. We see here that the first equation that we started working with is given to us in factored form. Let's write this equation down. We get r is equal to 6 plus 1x times 4 minus 0.25x. Since the equation is given to us in factored form, we would use the factors to find the vertex. And in order to use the factors to find the vertex, we need to get from the factors the x-intercepts or r and s value. r and s means when the graph is made, these values are called r and s or the x-intercepts. And we get it when the y value is zero. In this particular scenario, y is represented by revenue. So the revenue has to be zero in order to get our x-intercepts here. Now, when the two factors are equal to zero, either of the factors would be equal to zero. So we would put six plus one x is equal to zero or four minus 0.25 x is equal to zero. Now, if 6 plus 1x is equal to 0, then 1x would be equal to negative 6 or x is equal to negative 6. However, if 4 minus 0.25x is 0, then negative 0.25x would be equal to negative 4. And when we solve this, the x value would be equal to negative 4 divided by negative 0.25. That gives us a positive 16. As these two values are the two x intercepts, so we can write on r as negative 6 and s as a positive 16. In order to find out the vertex, we first have to get the h value, that is the axis of symmetry, which is equal to the average of r and s, and that would be equal to negative 6 plus 16 divided by 2, which is going to give us a 5. In order to find out the k value, k is the y value or the revenue, we would have to substitute this h as x in the given equation. So x would be 5. And from here, revenue that we get is 6 plus 5 is 11. When we solve this bracket, when we solve this bracket, we get 2.75. 2.75 multiplied by 11 gives us the revenue of 30.25. So when the question asks us, what is the maximum predicted sales revenue per customer? That would be $30.25. And how do we conclude this is the maximum revenue? Is because if we turn this factored form of equation into vertex form, we know the factored form is R equal to 6 plus 1x 
times 4 minus 0.25x in factored form. However, in vertex form, because the general equation is ax minus h square plus k, we have h value as 5 and we have k value as 30.25. Since this represents the y value or in this particular scenario revenue, so this is the maximum revenue and this is where we see that maximum revenue. So if this particular question is turned into a graph, we have r is negative 6, s is positive 16. So this is negative 6, this is positive 16. And we have the vertex as 5 comma 30.25. And let's say that's somewhat here. Then this is how the graph of parabola is going to look like. Where the max revenue is 30.25. And at what point we would see that revenue is 5. This 5 represents the x value and x in this particular question represents the number of price reductions. That's what we started this equation with. And this is what x means number of price reductions. So if the next part of the question asks us with how many price reductions will this occur, we would say with five price reductions, we would see the maximum revenue per customer. Therefore, the final answer is maximum revenue is $30.25 and the number of price reductions that would show us this maximum revenue is five price reductions. So this is how we use quadratic equations in order to solve revenue problems when we are asked the question in different ways.